down in New York. What do you think? I think I channeled Leonid Afromov on this one. Yes, he used to paint with all these bright colors and contrasting cools and warms and darks and lights and I didn't intend to make it to look like one of his paintings, but it came out that way. So I'm going to have to thank him for inspiring me all these years. Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name correct. Leonid Afromov. I should look it up. I'm pretty sure that's his name. But anyway, he has passed away. He was my age, actually. I think he might have even been a little bit younger than me. But uh, yes, he had this beautiful, beautiful style. And I'm not attempting to claim that I was able to capture his style, but it sort of absolutely reminds me of his style here. I was just having fun. Hey, the bottom line here with the art is have fun. It's kind of hard to, to be honest with yourself and say you're having fun when you're doing a portrait. Do you know? I mean, that's real work, a portrait. I've done many portraits, oh my gosh, in oil, in acrylic, in pastel, in pencil, in charcoal. Oh my gosh, over the years, so many people. And I've worked from photographs and I've worked from live sittings. And why am I telling you this? I guess because I now, at this point in my life, I just want to have fun. Now, I just did a portrait of Jesus, and I'm glad I did it. You know, it's for the church, and of course, it makes sense to do a portrait of Jesus for the church. But these cards are for the church also, and these will raise money through the auction. This is, I want to paint 200 greeting cards before their auction on November 23rd, 21 days, three weeks from today. So, so far I have 183. This is the 183rd card. And I'll be donating all 200 to the church and they will be auctioning them off. I'm also donating the, uh, the portrait of Jesus, which is big at 36 inches by 48 inches. Yes. But let's get back to the topic at hand, having fun with your art. Yes. Let's just have fun. What is more fun for you? Portraits or landscapes? Be honest. Huh? I think probably landscapes. That's not to say portraits aren't rewarding. They are rewarding. But maybe it's, you know, I think the recipient of a portrait is going to enjoy it. And they're going to say, oh, wow, there's my uncle, or there's my dog, <laughs> or there's my great-great-grandfather, or there's Jesus. Yes. No, they're rewarding. They definitely have a place, and those who are really good at it are really amazing at it. So, I wouldn't stop doing it. But I don't know that you would admit that it's fun. Is it fun? Tell me if you think doing portraits are fun. Well, I'll say this, that when I used to do sketches at the th at theme parks, um, it was fun because you got to meet people and chat with people. So that part was fun. And sometimes I got a laugh or two because I, I didn't, I didn't get the likeness. Sometimes it was like so horrendous that I have to do it over again. <sighs> but I keep going on a tangent. I mostly want to talk about just having fun as an artist, having fun with the art, having fun with the colors, having fun with all the things you've learned along the way. Contrast and perspective and warm and cool and um, the little tricks maybe you've learned along the way about how to do this or that. Like in this case, I used watercolor, but then I enhanced it with gouache. That's a little trick. It won't win any contests if it's a pure contest. If you enter a watercolor contest and it says no mixed media, then don't even try because the judges will know right away. But hey, forget the judges. Just have fun. Besides, this is five by seven. 
I mean, it took, I don't know how long it took, maybe a half hour. Um, but anyway, all right, I, I've talked long enough. Let's go have some fun and paint something. Here we go. All right, let's just have some fun today. Just uh, have some fun. Let's do some basic things. So one basic thing is perspective, you know? You know how to do this, right? You take a, a pencil. I get my, my sharpener out here. It fell apart. My, my, my nifty sharpener. All right, so let's get the, a point on the pencil first. Yeah, let's just do some something fun. I know you saw the intro video, so you already know what this ends up as, but... All right, so the idea here, my thought is to just kind of do a basic thing. So I'm using a blue pencil so that it doesn't, because graphite sometimes gets ugly. So, so there's my horizon. Is it, is it straight? Let me make sure I got it right. Let me make sure I got it right. Let's see if I start there. I start at six and go to eight and a half. So it's two and a half inches up. Yeah, that's close enough. That's close enough. All right, so let's put a horizon right smack in the middle. Right there. I mean, a vanishing point. I'm going to put a line here. Just a real light line. Put a line here. Very light line. Do it over here. <laughs> this is... This is basic art, right? This is art 101. <laughs> basic one. Look at, so there we go. There was, there's our vanity point and our things, whatever's going to be in the picture. So basic art 101. Basic art 101 part two is to take some um, contrasting colors. So warm and cool is the way to go. So let's go for the cool first. Let's get some cool colors on here, since I already started with blue. And let's just get some more blue on there. Let's just get it all over the place. We'll do contrasting blue and with orange. And then we'll do um, dark with light. Okay, so kind of the idea here is to uh, get some blue and some orange and just kind of mix them up together and see where this takes us just have some fun I've been so focused on doing Christmas cards and winter cards that, that I kind of lost touch of just having fun with the art just sitting down and the other day I was reminded by somebody who Notice the mistake in the painting that I made. How important it is to have feedback from other people. And I truly appreciate that. And you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be kind when you're giving it, but you gotta be constructive when giving it. And then when you're receiving that kind of feedback, you gotta, you gotta swallow your pride and say, oh, maybe she's right. Maybe I got to pay attention to stuff a little bit more. So the point I'm making, uh, the, the specifically, was when I was doing the portrait of Jesus, I messed up on the nose. I didn't even notice it. It was a tiny little difference on the left side from the right side. And it was pointed out by one of you. I'm sorry I don't have the name in front of me, but thank you for doing that. And... It really made a difference once I looked at it and said, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. Now that was oil paint. And, you know, if it was a card, just a regular greeting card like this, I probably wouldn't have fixed it. Maybe I would have a little bit. It depends on what it is, you know. But a card usually... Um, cards are kind of practice for me anyway. They're not necessarily like all she wrote 
a, a card is kind of like a sketch. That's kind of how I look at it. So, um, get some some blue over here. Yeah. I'm dabbing it on on purpose. I'm trying to get that, that almost that pointillism look. But anyway, so the painting that, I, that I'm referring to was an oil painting. And it was only a day after I painted it. It really wasn't much time hadn't passed. And so I was able to just take some uh, linseed oil and with that linseed oil, I was able to adjust the nose and, and it made all the difference in the world. And I appreciate it so much that you pointed it out to me. Yeah, I think it's this really light, but still striking blue here. There's different shades of blue. Okay, that looks good. That looks pretty good. All right, now let's go for the other color. The other color is orange. I want to do contrasting colors. So let me start with yellow. I gotta be careful that the yellow doesn't mix with the blue because otherwise it'll turn green, which I don't want. I might have some green in here, I'm not sure, but right now I just want some yellow. Just, and then I'll work around it to get some orange in there. Yeah, we can put some yellow on this side too, even though that's blue. Just have some fun. You ever do this? You ever just have fun, like putting paint on paper and then <laughs> trying to see if you can see something? It's, uh, there's a um, a thing <laughs> that you can do called spontaneous art. You just you just put paint on paper and see where it takes you. And um, it's called spontaneous art, and it is spontaneous, so it's kind of fun. And sometimes it's amazing. Another thing that's fun to do is to take uh, a subject, somebody you, you're looking at. Maybe maybe they don't even know you're looking at them. And you, you you draw them, draw them without looking at the paper. Have you ever, have you ever done this? Just take your pen. I should show you how I do that sometimes. I've I've done it a number of times, and it's it's amazing how sometimes you get you get an amazing likeness of the person, and sometimes it's just funny it doesn't look like them at all too there's there's that but oh yeah sometimes it's fun just to just to have fun with art don't don't plot it out too much the only reason i did the lines here is just because i want to do a kind of like a i don't know like a city scene or something just in the fall a city scene in the fall maybe i don't know maybe these orange colors are gonna dictate to me what this is I think I can sort of see it now okay I don't know I don't know what I'm seeing yet let's just keep putting that oh that red looks good yeah that red Just having fun with color. You remember Walt Disney's show before it was called The Wonderful World of Disney? It was called The Wonderful World of Color. Do you remember that? Yeah, before he was naming everything after himself. <laughs> I mean, the Wonderful World of Disney. The Wonderful World of Color. Just have some fun with... Fun with color. <clears throat> fun with dark and light fun with 
purples and blues. In fact, speaking of purples, let's go ahead and put some purples on here. I'm going to have to let this dry because I, I don't like it spreading out that much. It's spreading over here. this line to be visible the pencil line I already challenged myself with this Let me spread some of this out put some of this purple here let's thin it out get it very thin very loose like um, a river. Yeah, you have all those reflections in a river. Right now it just looks like a mess, right? It might end up being a mess by the time I'm done with it. Come on, thin that out. Get that very thin. Very thin. I'm going to have to get the dryer out, I think. This is a big mess, right? All right, well, we're going to have fun with this and see if we can make this into something. I'm going to dry it anyway. Spread some of these purples out. Don't make them so defined. Just follow that line. seeing it almost looks like trees okay let's see what happens here oh oh wait a minute wait a minute do you see something put some branches oh gosh yes some over here too. Oh gosh, yes. I think I'm seeing. Oh my goodness, look at them. Do you see it? We keep pulling these lines down. similar over here. Let's 
Oh gosh, yes, it's starting to look like a little, like a cityscape. There's a place in Central Park that this is sort of reminded me of. Right off of, um, if you're familiar with New York, there was a couple of places really. I was going to say right off of 72nd, or West 72nd Street. Oh, yeah. You see it? Almost looks like, I, I, what's that guy's name again? Leonid Asramov used to, Afromov? I gotta look him up. Yeah, he used to use bright colors. Maybe I'm channeling him. <laughs> Leonid, Leonid, Leonard, Af Afromov. I remember what his name was. Well, see, these are all kind of faded out, and, and yet I can use this, I think. Okay, I'm going to let it dry naturally, I think. Put some if I see leaves here. Like autumn leaves. Red leaves. Yeah. This right here. You see that light spot right there? A piece, a piece of the little portion of the paper is shining right through. It could be a lamp. Do you see it? looks like a lamp, right? Oh, this is a fun one. Oh, uh, today I'm going to a farm. I'm going to a farm. Don't ask me what kind of a farm. I don't know. Robin and her mom set it up. It's got something to do with the church. I don't know. Do I sound like I'm not excited about it? No, I am. It's it's um it's an opportunity for me to see things. Maybe I'll get some uh, what do you call it? Reference photos out of it. Just trying to make nothing really defined here. I'll do the definition later on. A bit of a tree. Let's make a tree here. Yeah, let's put a tree right there. pretty right it's got a kind of an inviting look to it here already Def 
but he is reminiscent, reminiscent of Leonid Ef Efremov. Leonid. I can't remember if he was German or Russian. Mm, but, um, if you look him up, you'll see why I'm I'm thinking of him as this picture comes comes to be. If it's like it's developing in front of my eyes. Watercolor is an amazing medium. They all are. They're so different though. When you're working with watercolor. What was weird is the other day when I was working on that oil painting, it was so different because I've been doing watercolor now for so many, for so long. By the way, this is, this card is going to be number 183. My goal is 200 cards, so this is 183. And uh, once I get 200, I'm going to deliver them all to the church. I have only 20, 21 days before, three weeks, oh, three weeks from today is when the art auction is. So, gotta, gotta be careful to, if I want to meet my goal, I mean, I, I suppose they won't care if I only give them 183, but, you know. I promised 200, so I've got my mind made up. The person right there, see that? Oh man, the person. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of regretting putting those, those lines there. Should this be a person? Maybe a, a little bit closer. No, that can't be a person. That'd be a giant person. Right? No, don't do that. I don't know what that is. I better mess that up so it doesn't look like anything. <laughs> Just some dark blob somewhere. Oh, maybe, maybe it's a building back there or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. My phone making noise. People walking on the sidewalk. Now I see a sidewalk. Do you see a sidewalk? That was unintentional. Oh, maybe it's raining. Maybe that's an umbrella. Yeah, it's not a big head. See, it looked like a big head. I thought, well, that doesn't look good. A big head. It's not a big hat, it's an umbrella. Of course, it's raining. I wonder if everything is so wet looking. All right, let's get back to that. Let's get back to that purple. Let's use some of that purple to darken this a little bit. I'm not even getting out the dryer. I'm just letting it sit there. The, the wetness doing its own thing. I do think I want to define some of these things better.
I don't know if it's autumn and the rain or something. Not sure what's going on here. So it's a contrast of light and dark, a contrast of cool and warm. And and then just and then the perspective and then just kinda of having fun. More than anything else, I just wanted to have fun. I think I will let it dry. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to use some uh, gouache to add some lights on top of darks. That's what I'll do. like a person I guess <laughs> just walking do it. I've always wanted to try to emulate Leonid Afromov, so that's probably where my mind went here. But you know, the one thing you have to be careful of is when you admire somebody else's style, that you really don't make it your own, because you kind of have to f just fall into place and have your own style. I guess I have mine, I don't even know. People tell me I do. But I'm not really sure. But nevertheless, it's 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 fun to try to emulate somebody else's style, especially when it happens accidentally, <laughs> when you can see it. Good. Let me let me go ahead and smear the background, and uh, I mean the back of the card, and then I'm going to come back with uh, I'm going to dry it with the camera turned off, and then I'm going to get some gouache. And I'm going to add some light on top of the darks, and darks on top of the light. I'm going to do both. What do you think about that? It's a very colorful card, that's for sure. Yeah, this is number 183 out of 200. All right, let me smear this and let it dry, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's all dry now. So what do I want? Let me get some some dark colors here and some light colors. The yellows and what's this one? What is that one? That one is I gotta read it. What is that color? Viridian. Well, I don't know what that is. Viridian. I might use it. Prussian blue, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh gosh, I know I want yellow. I'm gonna get yellow. 
And I know I want some kind of a bright red. But I was hoping I had like a black or something. Well, this purple. Hmm. Let me shoot the other one. Let's see what I have in here. What do I have? Burnt umber. I kind of want a black. I know black is something you stay away from. Black! There it is. Thank you. And I have a white. I bought a white. <laughs> An art friend of mine told me that if I'm going to use student grade paints, that I at least get professional grade with the white. <laughs> so I don't know if I did or not, but I, I did buy that one separately. All right, let me, let me get with this now. I'll go ahead and put some in the, the lid. Put a little bit of white right there. And I'm gonna get some yellow in there. I kind of want to use like the pure color straight out of the tube. It's kind of what I have in mind. So I'll have to make sure I use a clean brush for each color. Get some yellow in there. Yeah, a little tiny palette. The reason I like the top of the lid of the of the jar is because when I put it together later on, it'll stay moist. And I can use it without having to reactivate it. That's the reason. Alright, did I put black in there yet? Nope. I'm put black in there. I don't know if I need those other colors. All I'm trying to do really is to just accent accentuate what's already on the paper because I can already see the composition. It's just, I guess it's a typical scene that you might see. Let me get a skinny brush. Thank you, Deb, for these brushes, by the way. All right, here's the black. Let's do the black first. Let's get some of these trees in there. Just make some defined trees. Kind of like the idea. Oh, and this lamppost over here too. Let's put this lamppost, this accidental lamppost that happened by itself. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Now that's really a happy accident, Bob. Bob Ross would be proud. That happy accident right there, that lamppost. Or the lamp part, anyway. The post wasn't exactly an accident. Put some reflection here in the, in the street. See, now I can see, I can see the, let me get a little bit bigger brush for this. Now I can see the definition of some of these things that were just kind of happening on their own. Yeah, I used to watch the videos. In fact, of course, you can still see them. They're on YouTube. You can watch um, Leonid Afromov and um, you can watch him taking very, very abstract looking paintings and then making them look like something. Maybe that's what he was doing. Maybe he was doing what we now call um, spontaneous art. Or maybe he called it that. He didn't speak English, so if you listen to him, <laughs> unless you know Russian or whatever he's speaking. Just a couple of trees in here. There we go. There we 
here. I'm not sure if these are lights either. Maybe that's a light. Yeah, why not? That could be a light. Right there. I guess I could put a little bit of a hint of that line that I started out with. And then it'll, it'll kind of hide the pencil. If I make it look like it's intentional. Oh yeah, this is definitely looking like a Leonid painting. I think Leonid is somebody I gotta acknowledge in my in the credits at the end. <laughs> I don't have credits at the end. But if there was if there was if this was a movie and there was credits at the end I would have to say thank you. Special thanks to Leonid. Leonid Afrimov for the style inspiration for inspiring me. And a couple more defined branches over here. Let's take this red. Let me clean the brush. Get the red off of it. I mean the black. Get it as clean as I can. All right, now let's get the red. Let's put some red in this in these trees. in with the yellow. And then I'll put the two together and put some orange. Go ahead and put some red in the street too. It's all very spontaneous and all very um, unplanned kind of the fun part of this. So this is definitely an autumn. It's getting this autumn feel to it, don't you think? Absolutely. That's alright. It's still autumn. It's, it's not winter yet. I've been doing so many winter cards. I kind of like doing this one. You never know. Oh man. This is, this is like going back to the beginning when all you did was have fun. You, have, you painted and you had fun, right? That's the way to do it. Don't always be so serious. You know, let people think you had it planned out. <laughs> let people think you knew what you were doing. Between you and me, though, I didn't know what I was doing. All right, I'm going to take some of this yellow and mix it. Let's see if I can put a little bit more yellow. And orange. It's going to turn orange naturally because I'm mixing it with the red. Maybe I should get some a clean brush so I can get some. Oh, I like these brushes too. These brushes have a little point on them. 
I know they're called something, a chisel brush, or I can't remember what they're called. Oh man, yeah. Oh yeah. That's working out nice, yeah. Put some more yellow in the street. Oh yeah, put some in that lamp right there. Put some white in that lamp too. There we go. Oh, white. I forgot about the white. Let's use the white a little bit. Let's be a little bit more generous with the white. Put little spots of white here and there. Oh, man. Oh, gosh, that is looking nice. Wow, I didn't expect that. tree, a little bit of light coming on the tree. What do you think of that, huh? I kind of like it. If you're an artist and you're working on your own art right now, that's what I had in mind when I first started this channel. I thought, wouldn't it be fun to paint with other people? But, you know, I'm kind of because I'm old, I'm just not going out anywhere. But I am today, I'm going to a farm. Oh, no, you're, you're going to a farm. Robin is looking forward to it. I don't know. I don't know why we're going to a farm. What do you think? I think I should just stop. Is it good enough? I do. I think it's good enough. All right, well, it's not dry because of all that wet gouache on there, but it's dry enough, I think, for me to fold it and to call it a card. Once it's folded, it's a card. It's no longer a piece of paper. It, it becomes a card. Well, what do you think of that, huh? I'm gonna do more of them. That's, that was kind of fun. All right, well you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow, bye.